Hey guys, Epic Zara here, and I'm back with another video. I'm Zara, AKA Epic Zara. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. How you doing, boo? If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back and watching this video. It means you guys been rocking with us for however many videos, and you're gonna be rocking with us hopefully until the end of time. Anyway, I'm actually doing a video showing you all how I moisturize my hair when it's super dry. Right now, it's feeling kind of crusty. That's why I'm about to show you all how I moisturize midweek and in between styles. Before we get into the video, I'd like to remind you guys to do a few very simple things. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up because it lets YouTube know that you enjoy this content. Please be sure to comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. Please don't forget to share this vid with all of your sezzy sezzy friends and definitely subscribe to our channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time we post a video. Anywho, let's get right into this. Thank you again for joining me. First things first, let me show you guys what products I use. This is my Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Repair Cream. I actually really love this product, I'm not gonna lie. And it's very readily available in Nigeria. I'm going to put a link down below to where you can get this in every other product that I mentioned. I use this because it's very, very available and it makes the pH of my hair super duper low. But if you're in Nigeria, be very wary of fakes. Next is my Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Coil Calm Detangler. This is my trusty, lusty spray bottle that like every black girl ever has in her arsenal. Usually I mix my vegetable glycerin and water and maybe a conditioner. Today I'm actually gonna mix in this Coil Calm Detangler. I'm just gonna dilute it a bit to make it easier to work into my hair. And plus I love water. Last but not least, I have this very generic shea butter actually made in Abuja. And I usually use almond oil, which I'm still gonna put down there, but I ran out. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, and let's get right into this. Let me show you how I'm about to like moisturize this situation. Turn it into something your mom, your dad, your brother, and your sister are gonna wanna have on their head. So guys, now I'm just taking down my hair. Just gonna pull this out. It might not look as dry as it actually is on camera cause it's kind of shiny or sheeny, you know, <laughs> black girl magic or whatever, but it's actually pretty dry right now. The texture of my hair is such that it's prone to dryness. I think it's probably because of the protein sensitivity. Let's just throw this out of the frame. We're just gonna get in here and moisturize this situation. Man's forgot a clip, so I'm just gonna have to improvise a little bit. I would advise using butterfly clips. Those are ones I, or wait, are they butterfly clips? I think they're butterfly clips. I'm going to link them below again. I like to use them to section off my hair, but I'm just going to part a little bit. My hair's already parted because I actually just took it out of a style not too long ago. I had it in some braids for my braid out. It's really parched, you guys. It's not trying to stretch. So what we're gonna do, we're going to take this. I actually have enough product in here, but I'm going to add a bit of water just to make it a bit runnier. Well, this is kind of heavy, guys. <laughs> I'm now going to add just a touch of glycerin. When you use vegetable glycerin, you're supposed to use just about five to 10% in any type of mixture so it doesn't dry out your hair. So really, I'm just adding a few drops. So you guys notice I didn't add this. That's because I already had quite a bit in here from the other day. This is going to be what's gonna refresh my hair. So guys, my hair is trying to flip back over and like I said, man's forgot a clip. Sometimes I just put this on my hand and then I go like this and just distribute it through my hair so that there's not too much much. I focus more on the ends because one, they dry faster and two, they're the oldest part of the hair. They require a lot more attention and ultimately if you're trying to grow your hair out, your ends have to be super healthy or your hair is going to be breaking off and you're going to be looking like a scarecrow. So now I'm also low porosity. So what I really should have done is taken warm water and put it in my spray bottle so that the moisture could seep in better. Now this will still work, but I'll have to like squeeze the product in 
to ensure that it actually saturates my hair and moisturizes my hair. So now I'm just taking my leave-in. I'm going to put this in my hair. Just gonna take a little bit to put all over the body and then I'll take more for the ends. And I'm going to just squeeze this into my hair as well. Just to ensure that it really gets in there. Warming the product up on your hand if you're lopo also really helps ensure that the product seeps into your hair. Ooh, my hair feels refreshed for real though. So one thing I love about this product and a reason why I knew immediately it worked for my hair, you see how it's super low pH, so much so that it's clumping my curls. It's actually defining my hair for me. Right now, my hair is lacking in the definition department, but typically I'm not looking for definition. Typically, I'm just looking for moisture and like body, body especially. If you guys want me to do an updated wash and go though, let me know because man's wash and goes be looking hella popping, but sometimes the shrinkage be slaying me. So now guys, I'm just separating my hair into two so I can twist it up. This is how I prefer to moisturize my hair. Normally I do braid outs, but since I'm not going to wear my hair out, twisting it up is going to be better for me. You'll see the style I do next because I'm about to make a video on it. Yay, now my crusty hair has been moisturized. So we're moving on. This section's actually kind of small, but I think it's good that I did a small section first so you all can see exactly what it is that you girls doing. Now I'm going to do the size section that I normally do, and that's pretty large. So my hair is naturally kind of middle parted. This is not really my middle part. I had to shift it over a bit so I don't go bald. <laughs> now I have my blue Afro pick. I'm actually going to change my part back to the middle because I need to style my hair with the middle part for the next style I'm doing. So let's get this middle part fleeking. Look y'all, this season in Nigeria, Harmattan or whatever, it's like, it's the dry season, yes. So the dry season, essentially. It's got me all sorts of dry. Like I came out of the shower five minutes later, I was looking like the ash monsters. Like I crawled out of somebody's dusty bed. I was just confused. Man's is learning how to adjust. It's not similar to winter back in America because at least there it's cold. You know what to expect, but here it's just hot and dry and everything is cracking. The earth is cracking. My skin is cracking, my lips are cracking, my hair wants to crack, but we're moisturizing it today. So you thought, Harmitin, you thought you could get my hair, but I got you first. Anyway, this section is not that big. We're still gonna work with it as is because I don't want to force my hair into a state that it's not comfortable with. Like I said, it's dry, y'all, and I'm not about to wet down this whole thing right now. So I'm gonna put this on my hands again. I'll probably put this on my hair just straight. Using glycerin in this season is a bit risky. I didn't understand what was going on with my hair last year, but around the same time last year, I had just come back from the States, right? Cause you know, that's like home, home. So anyway, just came back from there, whatever. And I was putting my normal favorite products in my hair. My hair was just like, girl, psych. That's not about to work. My hair was still really crusty. It was actually even breaking a bit, only to discover that it was the glycerin in my products that was causing my hair to feel thirsty. Since there was no water in the air, it was sucking the water out of my hair. But to combat that, I'm just going to be lightly misting and also making sure my hair is free when I'm showering so that the steam helps to keep it fresh and moisturized. I've just moisturized with my leave-in. Next step. Oh my gosh, you guys, you know what I've been forgetting to do? I actually didn't even use my shea butter, hashtag fail. So that's actually what's going to seal in the moisture completely. I ran on my almond oil, like I said before. I'm just gonna warm up the shea butter on my hands so it doesn't create like beads or anything like that. I'm going to put it through my hair. We'll also go back and put it on the other section. I'll focus more on the ends too. This keeps them, one, from getting knotted, and two, from getting splits and dry. So parting my hair to do a twist. When I moisturize, I also finger detangle just a little bit. I typically don't like to stress my hair and my scalp that much, so I don't really detangle a lot until wash day. Clearly my hair is lacking in the moisture department because for the first time in weeks, I've seen real breakage. After probably a few days, I'm gonna deep condition. Okay guys, let's speed this process up. This time I'm gonna get a real big section.
gonna get my ends first to loosen up my hair. Hashtag Team Low Porosity, yes! I'm putting that right here, y'all. Hashtag Team Low Porosity. Are you guys low porosity? Y'all should tell me down below and tell me how you deal with your low porosity hair. Like, what do you do to manage all of that beautiful low porosity hair? Let me know. So, we're back to this. Okay, so now to the shea butter. Gonna rub this in my hands really well. Sometimes shea butter leaves a film, so be careful if you're using it. That's why I use oil on the body of my hair and then shea butter typically only on the ends. But let's apply some now. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my edges. Edges need love too. We're not trying to have bald edges, y'all. A few moments later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Hey guys! So, I know that was super fast. I mean, it wasn't really. I just sped it up in post-production. <laughs> Video editor tint. Anyway, we're on the last section as you can see. I've already sprayed my little moisturizer-ish. I'm noticing quite a bit of buildup because I've been having to use shea butter. It's okay, we just have to manage the struggle sometimes. So like I said, I'm going to link my almond oil down below, my favorite almond oil. That's actually what I use all over the body of my hair. So let's just get this last section good and moisturized. So yeah, that was a pretty huge section, so I'm just pulling it in two. Like I can't even begin to like try and finesse like that. My hair needs to be in like 10 sections or more. That's really just the moral of the story. Since I've cut it so much recently, it's gotten really thin thick across the board. I've managed to cut out my damage and I trim it every month, which is pretty excessive, but I'm going to stop being so scissor happy so I can make some gains because man's trying to have tailbone length. We can't be crusty and dry if you want a man or a girl, then you better get yourself some really popping and not thirsty hair. Okay guys, so we're actually pretty much finished. Let me just quickly get this section information. Ah! There's a tangle, oh my god. Okay, I got it out guys. That's why finger detangling is essential. Let me just make this a teachable moment. Finger detangling is essential because there are certain tangles that will just appear randomly in your hair that a comb will not be able to detect. But if you're using your finger, you can always feel it and work through it gently. So you save a lot more hair in the process. Now, I personally am a huge fan and supporter of brushing the hair occasionally or combing, whichever one you prefer, because it gets out all the shed hairs, loosens the hair, stimulates the scalp. So I do brush my hair once a month, sometimes more, but typically around once a month. Some of you can brush your hair every blessed day and nothing will happen to your hair. However, I cannot brush my hair every day because it's in too many different states throughout the weeks. Number one, number two, I just feel that would be a lot of manipulation and I want to keep my hair on my head. So I'm taking this section down. I can feel some matting here, so I want to pull that, stretch it a bit much better. Yay! I finished my hair, you guys. This is the final product. <laughs> So we're not crusty and dry anymore, and now we're moisturized, we're glowing, we're beaming, we're popping, yes, hunty. This is the final result. 
This is what my hair looks like when it's moisturized. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm really excited to be back on YouTube full time, putting out videos every week like a boss. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to do these few simple things for me. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know how you guys moisturize your hair, especially if you're low porosity. Let me know what it is that you do to keep your hair super soft, super popping. If you have high porosity or medium porosity, please also comment and let us know what you do to keep your hair moisturized midweek or in general, because that will definitely benefit a lot of the subscribers and a lot of people just stumbling onto this video. Please also don't forget to share this video with all of your wonderful friends. And last but certainly not least, subscribe to our channel and turn those notifications on so you know every time we post a video, send the video, I love you guys. I'll see you next video. Make sure you watch my previous videos. They're going to follow in a few moments. <laughs> Bye, guys.